Well, besides the fact we had the best year ever, you know. Um, best year ever. And we're talking about, we're talking about best year ever, like. This is like the coolest story ever. And we just need to write a whole chapter just on Mike. So, this man, was it two years ago now? About two years? Two years. Okay. I did a workshop in um, uh, Amish country up at Berlin Gardens, half day workshop. You signed up with us. I spent a half a day with you in Clearwater, Florida. That was the earliest that we could get together or whatever. This man was scared to death. Literally scared to death. Is that true? And why were you scared to death? Uh, man, I'm, I'm having an outer body experience right now. <laughs> <laughs> Not comfortable up here. I'm all, I know. I'm all reserved. I looked at the uh, I know. That's that why sign I'm over there. I was here. like... SC, that's for me, all reserved. Uh, we could go back there and he could just turn the video <laughs> camera around, but we got we to gotta share this story, man. Uh, okay, wait, let me put it in different terms. Okay, does it make sense in your, since you're an SC that by sharing, just sharing, not presenting, not teaching, but just sharing with everybody here that they'll be better off? You'll be helping them? Yeah, yeah it's Is important. Is that good? Mm-hmm. And you want them to get it right since you're a C, right? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so why were you scared to death when you came to Clearwater? Uh, so w we've always had a good company, but we were uh, just celebrating 10 years. It was our first year in company history that we uh, went backwards in sales. Uh, just had my first um, baby. So that changed me as a person. And uh, things just felt like they were coming apart. I had, I had uh, no control over anything in the business. And uh, that's not a comfortable place for a C to be. <laughs> and you were taking money out of your savings mm -hmm. to fund your business, is that yeah. true? Yes. Yeah, and you had a lot of issues with team members and mm -hmm. leadership and how things were going, is that yeah, true? Yeah, it was a wreck. It was a wreck. It was a wreck. Okay. All right. So then what happened? So, um, man, I just started uh, immersing myself in the inner circle, listening to all the material. And uh, so Howard told me or asked me two days ago, he said, hey, you mind if I pull you up on stage? And I thought I was off the hook today. <laughs> but sweat. Yesterday morning, I was like, I had to go dry my shirt off. I, <laughs> so you got to catch you by surprise yeah, on yeah, these kind of things. Don't ask me. I never forget. Up here, don't ask I me. never forget. Uh, yeah, it, it was a mess. But I've been, I've been thinking a lot about it, you know, and, and what I could say to do, to do this justice up here and what's most important to me. And I think so last year, um, well, besides the fact we had the best year ever, you know. Um. Best year ever. And we're talking about, we're talking about best year ever. Like, did you ever imagine financially that your business would be doing everything that you're doing? No. And I, and I have never chased the money, you know. Um, there we go. We did over $4 million last year. And uh, profits were off the charts. Profits were off the charts. And, uh, and life happened. We lost a lease on our location. We had a, um, you know, a tumultuous um, couple of months. Mm -hmm. And we turned that into victory. Your initial response was, of losing that lease was... Yeah, I had to lay down for a couple of hours in my <laughs> office. I did. I had like to lay down for a couple hours. Chest, so. so then we, we took a little walk in Destin, did we not? Yeah, yeah. So we took a little walk out in the park and we talked about this. And he's over there going, I think I need to lay down again. And I'm like, what an opportunity. Oh my goodness, we could do this, we could do that, we could do this, we could do that. And then what happened? 
So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm the proud owner of a new commercial property. Bought his own building. <laughs> Bought his own building. And started another location. So you got two locations out of the one closing down, two better locations, one that you actually own, and you had the money just to go do this. Yes. Has this changed you as a person? It has. And I, as I was thinking, the most important thing that happened to me, I think, in the, uh, the history of my company, um, and it may, you know, we, we started a dream board about a year and a half ago. And uh, I, w I did it wrong. You know, I was forcing C's to put their dreams up in front of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, pulled them in the office. I was like, you got to put a dream up. He's like, I don't want to do that. <laughs> But, uh, you know, um, so the fellow I brought along with me, he, uh, he put his dream up. He wanted to take his kids on a nice vacation. This man right here? Mm -hmm. What's his name? What's Rob. your name again? Ron? Rob. Rob. Yeah. So he's a single dad with three kids, and, uh, man, he took his kids on a nice vacation last year. <laughs> yes. And... I understand that you took a vacation of a lifetime, too, mm -hmm. that never happened before. Yeah. See, all this stuff is possible when you just do the right thing. Period. End of story. Yes or yes? Yes. yes. Give this man a big hand clap. And...